I would like to invite Mr. Ravi Dhariwal to deliver vote of thanks. Mr. Mr. Dhariwal has been an integral part of Ivy Cap Ventures since our inception. He brings with him experience of 38 years of building consumer businesses all over the world. He was the CEO of Bennett and Coleman, India's largest media company. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Ravi Dhariwal, who has also been a very passionate member to many of our portfolio companies and is also our active board member. You know, guys, um, I have done something today which I uh, haven't done for a long, long, long time. I've sat down and listened to every speech, taken copious notes, more notes than I did uh, when I was in IIT and I am. And believe me, uh, you know, what I'm going to do is request you for a couple of minutes when I can try and summarize or distill for you what I heard during the day. So the beginning of the day was very optimistic. Mr. Kamath came and explained to us that we have a 25-year runway, that we are in a very, very sweet spot. We, despite the unpredictable geopolitical environment, despite the fact that technology, there is a huge competition for technology, which is going to disrupt the whole world, despite the fact that we have fallen behind China in a many, many, in many significant ways. He actually believed that we can catch up. That, and the reason why we can catch up is that we have more than 75,000 startups which are creating, doing tremendous work and creating tremendous jobs. But the critical thing in all this, in order to harvest this opportunity, Let's not chase valuation. Let's move from value to cash flow. And do it in a manner which is sustainable. Do it in a manner which has ethics and right behavior attached to it. And he actually believed that because we have tremendous availability of data, we are a very large company, uh, country, because we have a large domestic consumption and because our costs are one-tenth the cost of a Syrian refugee. Can you believe it? One-tenth the cost of a Syrian refugee. We can outcompete in the world. And that gave us a lot of optimism. And the China plus one, one, uh, one uh, environment is going to help us create uh, the critical mass, but the, again, the central thing we should not lose focus on is cash flows and building long-term sustainable businesses. In India, the key determinant of our success will be this ability to harness digital technology. And we have very, very smart young people who will enable us because of the low cost and because of the huge domestic opportunity to be able to go forward in the world. This is borne out by some of the portfolio companies that, that we talked about. Take just the fintech area. We had Landbox talking to us, FinPay talking to us, FT Cash talking to us. They are really solving uh, both a retailer, a wholesaler, and a consumer payment problem. And things like this give us the confidence that we can move ahead in the digital economy world. After that whole thing of making people's life convenient through, uh, through uh, FinTech, we talked about what is it that we are on about? What can we really do? And the thought and, and uh, you know, uh, the uh, lady from Texas told us that the real thing is to build a brand and build a global brand. And we are well positioned to build a global brand because as long as we have domestic consumption, which throws the cash out, and we, are, we follow the, goal, the, the, the recipes for building a global brand, we should be able to get them. What are these recipes? The number one is position yourself 
in a manner that translates and expresses itself across cultures, across geographies. And she gave the example of Victoria's Secret. Second is, don't ever forget that it's, and one, one of the speakers said, it's two units of production, eight units of product development, but 90 units of sales and marketing. So don't forget that sales and marketing play a very, very critical role in building a global brand. And it is here that consumer experience, customer experience, and referrals come into play. And when you have referrals, you also need partners and alliances. So in order to build a global brand, we need ingredients of all this to come and play out. And it is here that, you know, I was reminded of what Vikram mentioned earlier. Uh, what is Ivy Cap's vision? Ivy Cap's vision is to be the most admired VC global India-grown company in the world. And Mr. Pillay gave us the recipes and one of the key recipes was sustainability. And we talked a lot about sustainability today, uh, today in, in the panel. But the critical thing here is again, where is the innovation? To be the globally most admired brand, what innovation are you bringing? And Mr. Mariwala explained that without innovation, you can't succeed. And I'm glad to, uh, to say uh, that uh, Vikram and his team have created these two great pillars. One is uh, the mentor ecosystem. None of the other uh, VC funds have this. And the second is giving back to uh, the IITs and IIMs, the un endowment fund. And we are trying to market these in our own inev inevitable way. But I think these will hold us in good stead, differentiate us from other other VCs and help our product and our portfolio companies imbibe the right talent, the right values, the right culture, and hopefully lead to success. In all this, it is, it is really important for us to be good citizens. And therefore, ESG, and we again talk, talked a lot about, uh, about ESG, is critical that we embrace that, we, we do the right thing, and we behave in the right manner. And that is pretty much what we discussed today. So I think, essentially, the world will separate between, like Manish mentioned, winners and losers. And there will be a big difference between winners and losers. And the only way we'll be winners is if we play to our strengths, we build uniqueness around what we offer, and a lot of the Ivy Cap uh, companies did exhibit, it, uh, did exhibit that. Biryani by the Kilo, E Shakti, uh, you know, Clovia, Purple, Convocite. Uh, I, I can't name all of them, but they all depicted that there is something unique in what they are doing. And if they, if they, if they can take this forward and they can build the cash flows and build a global company, we'll, we'll be all in a good place. Now, I don't want to hold you back uh, from your drink and dinner, uh, but thank you for listening to me. And uh, I can tell you, a lot of my notes are still lying on the table. Thank you. Uh, sorry.